Charlie Parsons for the stomping ground live on the zone, powered by Wow Hydrate. Mr. Adam Smith. Firstly, I couldn't make your launch event the other night, but oh, all the Charlie, boys told me you. how excellent it was. Thank so, you. firstly, congratulations. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. We've got Summit Sport launched and up and running, and very much. Uh, well, very excited about looking after athletes uh, closer than ever, um, really sort of steering and guiding and mentoring and helping uh, the sportsmen and sportswomen that I adore. And I can't wait to, uh, to see where it takes us. It's a fantastic group. It's a really, really wonderful uh, opportunity for us. Uh, it's a fantastic startup business, and I think it's going to go from strength to strength. Loving Summit, loving working with GBM as well, with Izzy, and just a pleasure to be working for TalkSport tonight alongside John, Gareth and Spencer in what was one of the great British heavyweight fights of all time. Just heard you say there, a draw, always slightly anticlimactic. I have to say, at the end of the fight, I almost had a bit of an inkling it may have gone that way, I suppose, with the point deducted and the knockdown. What was your initial reaction? Yeah, I think it was really, really close. And listening to Ben Davidson afterwards as well, I think he thought that. Uh, ben Shalom was saying, you know, Fraser should have won, but I, look, I think Fraser was the better boxer in there. He showed the class, the classier amateur pedigree, obviously, but, Fra but Fabio was so, so good in his sporadic, unorthodox, weird attacks. And it, I mean, the, the stubbornness of the pair of them, their mental and physical well-being, resilience, resistance, training that had got them into that space. Neither wanted to lose, neither wanted to give an inch. It was extraordinary. It was compelling, pulsating, magnificent from start to finish. And and um, I think both come out winners, so I don't really care about the result. I think the draw does leave a little bit of a sort of, everyone wants a, a, de a definitive decision. But hey, when they've rested up and let them rest up, because that was brutal, we can go again. And if they want to go again, quadruple their pay, Charlie, quadruple their pay. I was going to say, I said to Ben at the end, you run a rematch back, but I suppose Fabio's going to need a lot of work done. That nose is a bloody mess, but obviously we'd love to see that all over again. Yeah, I can't see that happening for many, many months, and nor should it. It was. Uh, it was one that we'll probably all look back at in a few years down the line and think, how did they get through that? And the pair of them probably will. John Rawley mentioned on commentary, will, that ever, will either of them ever be the same again? You just don't know. Sometimes rematches and trilogies are not as good as the first time around, but that was an epic, an absolute classic, a humdinger from start to finish. And uh, yeah, look, Fraser's only is his ninth fight. Fabio, four white collar fights. It's just... It's magical how these things can happen. But look, the health and safety has got to be paramount. They've got to be looked after. They've got to get back to their families. They've got to have a nice, good rest. But um, they, they don't ever have to do anything again after that. They'll be remembered forever. But of course they will. And they'll... Uh, They'll both be uh, catching the eye of the uh, of the Saudi situation, won't they? I'm sure Turkey would have looked at that and thought, let's have the two of them in the uh, in the blender in the mix. Adam Smith, always a pleasure speaking to you. I'm sure we'll keep up to date. I know you've got to head off, otherwise I'd sit here speaking to you all night. Thanks, Lovely, Charlie. thank you for Thanks speaking to us. Cheers, Charlie.